All right, does scoliosis cause pain? Um, it can, uh, but it doesn't always. Um, most people, I think, have the belief that pain levels will be directly proportionate to curve size. So when we're talking about a population of patients who have scoliosis, they naturally think the bigger the curves, the more pain they're gonna be in. And yet the reality is when you look at a big population of patients, it doesn't always look like that. I've got kids and adults who have severe curves, 50 degrees plus, that have little pain or no pain at all, while I've got patients, uh, one adult woman who has a 25 degree lumbar curve, which is mild, kind of mild to moderate, um, has a ton of pain, chronic pain. So, so it, can't, it can go either way. Um, but I think our culture is so focused on pain as the problem that we, we, I think we're asking the wrong questions. So pain can be there, pain cannot be, but I can really relate. I remember a woman telling me a story, um, uh, 50 year old woman, a lot, a lot of back pain and had kind of mild, moderate scoliosis and sitting across from her medical doctor and the medical doctor telling her scoliosis doesn't cause pain. And what that basically meant to her or what she heard was all of this is in your head. It's not real. And that was quite inflammatory to her, right? She wanted to punch him in the face. Um, because I guess to me it's like that doesn't matter if, if it's the scoliosis causing the pain or if it's the muscle spasm or the joint restriction or the degenerative changes like it's all happening all at the same time so whether it causes pain or not like we're all different we can have a lot of different um, presentations so I think the focus shouldn't be just on pain but if you're doing a good therapy or a good treatment that's affecting the underlying problems it should help the pain quick so I have a lot of patients who even have some very severe curves, but after just a day or two of treatment, like in an intensive, um, the pain is gone or the pain is significantly better. Um, so every patient needs to be just kind of addressed individually, and that's the focus.